Okay, so we'll finish the show. We'll not finish the show. We'll finish this part here with uh, Cole Komet of Chicago. And I know we brought him up briefly uh, when we were talking about Justin Fields and our drunk trade earlier. Uh, but yeah, he he didn't impress me last year, uh, but he had opportunity. I mean, he did fine, but again, it's just kind of in this middle of like, yeah, the pick one of 20 tight ends <laughs> basically. And, and you got Cole Komet. Hey, they're all kind of the same. Uh, and then going into the off season, they get Keenan Allen, they get Gerald Everett, they get Deandre Swift. I mean, they bring in a bunch of capable pass catchers. And while yes, tight end is supposed to be a rookie quarterbacks, one of their best friends, you know, we're going to assume that Caleb Williams at this point gets drafted by Chicago. Uh, so you would think, Hey, you know, he's flashed before. I just, with, with all the talent, not talent with all the receiving options on this team. Uh, and that's not to say anything about, um, Oh, the other running back, not Roshan, but uh, oh, Khalil, Khalil Herbert. Yeah. yeah, he's he's a pass catcher as well. So, I mean, there's just a lot of a lot of capable hands on that team. Uh, and Cole Komet just. I don't think he lived up to the expectations that everyone was hoping for. I mean, it, it just so I just I just I am so far out on him. I yeah. he very well could be off my draft board come draft day uh, in the fall just because I, I don't see any upside whatsoever with them. Less upside than Dalton Schultz. Yeah, they're basically the same guy to they're... me. And yet one of them only had really one and a half additions to kind of get into the mix. Whereas this guy has like three solid additions mm -hmm. that could crater him. And, you know, we pay a lot of attention to uh, tight end whisperer at least as I like to call him, Andrew Cooper, Coupe Fiasco out on Twitter. If you follow him, his guiding principle with tight ends is like, if you care about them for fantasy for redraft, you need them to be a top two target on their own team to really mm -hmm. make a difference. Otherwise it's just kind of, you know, throw a fucking dart and go yep. for bet. Well, and I mean, not. <laughs> and he also pointed out that, you know, Shane Waldron, who is now the offensive coordinator for the bears, He's basically followed Jared Everett or vice versa for their entire careers. Like he was on the Rams when they drafted mm -hmm. Everett. And then when he's moved from team to team to team, Everett has followed almost every step of the way. So it's like, it's, it's an underrated impact probably to Cole mm -hmm. Komet's value, but it's one that we shouldn't mess with. I'm not saying that I'm going to draft Gerald Everett either. In right. Yeah. I don't want I mean, either. No, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you well, had to, if you had to pick real quick though, Cole Komet or Dalton Schultz in redraft, who'd you rather have next year? I think I'd rather have Dalton Schultz. I, I just, I really do. I just I think I'm with you. I mean, I, I, like I said, he, Cole Komet, not, no one's ever off your draft board, but he is damn close at this point. I just, I just don't see any upside whatsoever with him.